Justin, why don't you lead us off this time? Welcome to episode 16 of the Independent Agent Podcast. I'm Justin, and across from me is my loving, beautiful brother, Jordan. That was said so slowly. You asked me to do it. You passed the buck. (laughs) I know. Last time. I think I said I wasn't going to let you intro anymore. But alas, here we are. Cocktail time. When are you going to start making cocktails? Why am I the one always making cocktails? I've got some boxed wine. It's so gross. That's why you're not making cocktails. So... Today, we're going to do some margs. So I told Justin out there we're going to make margaritas. They're basically skinny, healthy margaritas, fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice with some Cosmigos Blanco, but I didn't tell him what else is in there. So let's see how this one goes. Well, I'm going to say- You can't just look at me. You have to talk. (laughs) Well, I was so excited when I saw the Cosmigos, I didn't even get my Ultra out. You don't have an ultra? I don't even have an ultra. I don't oh need an ultra. Gosh. I see the Casamigos and I'm excited already. Okay, but you still don't know. Well, I hopefully hopefully you're not ruining the Casamigos. Oh, I think that's tough to do, but I think I'm just enhancing it. Okay. I will tell everyone what else is in there, but I want to have Justin figure it out first. So he's shaking. This is a crappy shaker. We need a better one. Now. You're leaking all over I know, the floor. It's not a tight seal. Our, our carpet is not gonna like that very much at all looks beautiful there's no salt on on the outside yeah i know i forgot to get that story. see now you made me spill again <laughs> oh we need like a different we need like a concrete table that we can just wipe off and we have a laminate wood table we can just wipe it off okay well okay hopefully the other enhancement that i put in is it bad that i didn't know this was laminate what else would you think it would be i thought it was wood Justin, really? <laughs> we are so different. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I hope you can taste the other thing in there. Let's see if you can taste it first. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's there, but it's faint. Very faint, but very tasty. I mean, it's. I'm. I'm tasting acidity. <laughs> I just said I put limes and oranges in there. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to figure this out, but it tastes really good. It's, no, this is, this is unfortunate. I'm not really happy right now. Hold on. Why are you not happy now? Because I want... To put the rest of the lime in there? Sure, we'll call oh, it. Oh, I see. You're, you're going to... that. That's what's hitting the back of my throat yeah. right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm picking it up now. So I added jalapenos to it because sometimes you just need to spice up a margarita. I, so I, I actually dig it. Yeah. I mean, I, you didn't ruin the Casamigos. I know, because I can make a margarita. If you use fresh stuff, you know. Well, this is Justin approved. I think it's my second time. I know. You are getting better. We're getting better at podcast speed wise. You're better at making drinks. You're not using your finger anymore. <laughs> The health department's no longer on our case. I'm going to read the first question. All right. I was recently notified of some unethical behavior involving at least two people in our organization. Another account manager in the agency confided in me regarding situations where her agent has asked her to handle his online continuing ed, stating that he is too busy to take care of it himself. (laughs) I'm not laughing. You're laughing. (laughs) (laughs) She is... (laughs) She has compiled his request a couple of times and now does not know how to put a stop to it. Oh, complied with his request. Notifying management could lead to determination and potentially re- revocation, revocation, revocate, revoke, potentially revoking of their licenses. She's a, fr- she's a friend of mine and I hate to see her career end over a couple of misguided decisions. What should I do next? Well, it's a long question. It was a long question. <laughs> big words. Big words for Jordan. Um, Especially after a little bit. Of Is it revocation? Of revocation? Revocation. Revo- revocation? Revocation? I, I, I didn't Revo- do well in grammar. Remember we talked about I'm a whole language child. They gave me great Revoke spelling. Revoke has a K, right? And revocation is a C. We're talking about the same word, right? The English language has many <laughs> mysteries, none of which I understand. None. Okay. So let's talk about C. We first. forgot to say. Remember we did the, we're doing the thing this episode. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So... Everyone needs to give us reviews first, but <laughs> after that shameless plug, um, 
We are doing something different, either audibly or visibly in this episode. And the first person that emails Justin at TotalCSR.com with it will receive a $100 Amazon gift card, and, courtesy and, of his personal bank account. <laughs> employees of Total CSR and or Goodman Insurance are not eligible. Mm, I like that. I yes. like that. Okay, go ahead. All right, so CEs. Um, one, I always keep a number of things and I letter things. Maybe that's something tied to my personality. I'm just going to restart How do you decide that. between numbering and lettering? It's the ADHD. I just don't know which one. <laughs> you don't think that there's a... We should start keeping it. Someone who really cares, start paying attention and then let us know when you figure it out. All right. There's a pattern. Okay. CE credits. I had this discussion. I was uh, doing a big presentation for a national company and they were talking about CE credits and how lengthy they are to go through the coursework. And if we're being really honest... It's not that all lengthy. If you're using, if you're getting CE credits just so you can comply with your licensing, which we've given a whole spiel on that before, have we? Well, I've talked a lot about it. I well, let me okay. An episode on it. All right, CE credits. We're gonna backtrack here. This is gonna be a longer episode, folks. CE credit. <laughs> Deep More breath, ready. Jordan. Gone. <laughs> CE credits were supposed to be tied to licensing. And let's go back to licensing. Licensing initially was put in place to give the general public comfort that the professionals knew what they were doing. Well, we all know across the country, CE credits, and more importantly, the licensing courses that take place before that and the test you take has nothing to do with insurance or the ability to practice insurance in my state or any of the other states of the union, right? It's just... (laughs) Go ahead. It's it's just, it's just not relevant. Go the hands again. <laughs> I'm going double hands on this. So it's Easy it's Donald. A, <laughs> I have big hands. I promise I have big hands. I really don't. Uh, but the the issue is I you're just watching my hands. <laughs> watching I feel very ve- I feel very judged right now. You are. So. The, the issue is that, so we have a system that tells the general public that we know something when we don't by getting licensed, and then we have to get a certain amount of CE credits every year to reinforce the said license that really doesn't mean anything. And so uh, I, I find it problematic that we have a system that's set up that doesn't really solve the problem that it was intended to solve, and yet we all have to comply with it. That said given we know the CE courses that most of us take, we take for just getting through to maintain our licenses. I am personally a fan of a few CE online companies because I can get through them pretty darn rapidly. I can get 10, 15 CE credits within about 45 minutes to an hour's worth of work, and that's just by being smart clicking through things. Now, yes? (laughs) Wasn't the first question about ethics? Is that ethical? Yes. Yes? I just went through, I did everything correctly, and I passed the course. Now, had I cheated or used someone else's answers, right? I, I operated within the parameters. It I did know. not have a timer set, Jordan. I know. It's it's no different than when you get a speeding ticket and you go to traffic school online and you can breeze through that as well. If the online CE system does not have a tracking mechanism that forces you to stop and be a certain duration on each page... I think everyone's pissed at you right now because you might be changing the CE game. And, <laughs> and like, Shh, keep it quiet. The nine listeners right. that we have. I know, I know. One of them hey, is an insurance commissioner. We've, we've got more than nine now. This is true. We do. But of, of, of the small group, it's probably an insurance commissioner hearing this, and the whole game is going to change based upon what I just said. Yep. Anywho, it is very we easy. We need 50 insurance commissioners. I know, but I only think one is listening. Oh. Okay. Pro- probably resides in the state of California. Um, but I just raised my hand again. Okay. I became self-conscious again. Gosh, you, this is, this is so <laughs> you, should not, you should not have brought that up. But it's that easy to breeze through it. The The producer or agency owner, whoever it is that's asking that person to take it for them, have some self-respect and breeze through it on your own for 45 minutes. I know. It's, it's, I mean, the websites are called like easy, cheap, fast, yeah. com or something. I don't even it's, know. It's like, it's that simple. So, uh, now I, I say all this, but I, I think the whole system is a joke. And so 
when we talk about, hey, this is really problematic, I have a problem because, yes, they ethically should be going through it, but it's for a system that I believe is really, really flawed in general. I would just have the conversation or encourage that person who got asked to have the conversation to say, hey, I'm not doing this. I don't want to risk my license over this. Um, but I would then have the conversation like, you can breeze through it. Here's how quickly you can do it. It's 30 minutes of your time. And maybe that person hasn't done it in 20 years. They've always found some schlup to go and do it for them. And so they didn't realize that 20 years ago, it was a lot of work and now it's not. And you could educate them. They're done with it in 30 minutes and everyone feels better. Jordan? I just think that, I mean, there's so many things about this business that are a joke, you know, um, CE is one of them. Uh, and I mean, I, I can't speak to other states, but in California, you need hours. You were supposed to have a certain amount of hours of continuing ed. And when you can get 10 hours and 30 minutes, it just, it falls flat on its face. And that's because you read slow. It is. I mean, honestly, I read at like a third grade pace. I have to read it three times. And it still only takes 30 minutes. Um, I don't even remember what their question was. You went off such a tangent. I, I, I circled back. Did you? Essentially, she says, she's a friend of mine. And I hate to see her career ended over a couple of misguided decisions. What should I do next? Do you really think her career is in jeopardy? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> do you think the Department of Insurance cares that much? I think they would say that they care that much. Um, yeah, I, I think I think you answered the question sufficiently enough to the listeners. And I'm going to go on another tangent. Deep okay. breath. I will go back to, I think you should get through your CEs to get through them, unless it's dynamite content. There are some great courses you can take out there where I think you'll learn things. Again, I took one course one time years ago that I picked up one concept from that course, applied it on a conference call with a bunch of subcontractors, and it netted the agency about a million bucks over seven years in commission revenue. So you can have CE that's great. It's just few and far between. So what I would say is go, go to places you can learn for the sake of learning, but when you want to get your CE credits, go fast, furious, get it done, and... Go fast and furious. Hey, the new movie's coming out. Vin Diesel, my man. Oh, is there another movie? There's going to be a 10, too. Are you not watching them? I think I stopped at like three or four, man. Oh, you're missing out. Am I? Well, you're, and you're a car guy. I'm not a car guy. I just I just see stuff. Well, I mean, all of those cars are orange and... And lime green. And I mean, and they're just small and rockety and, you know. I and mean, sometimes they have motorcycles, too. I know. I know. I just... You can only take so much Vin Diesel, man. What? <laughs> no, there's never enough in Diesel. It's the same thing over and over and over again. When I go bald, I hope to have muscles like him and look That's like how him. that works. You go bald and the muscles appear. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we're moving on to the next question. Uh, this is a longer question than even that was. The agency I work for has about 12 members in the executive leadership group. That's a big leadership group. <laughs> big. Uh, we meet monthly to review status of each department, overall agency strategy, and discuss any immediate issues that need to be addressed. Unfortunately, meetings tend to lead to disagreements or general general digression. digression. There you go. Yes, I don't English. read. I don't read well, which quickly takes the meeting off course. Meetings are generally scheduled for four hours. Four <laughs> hours. <laughs> Who schedules a four hour meeting? <laughs> but I digress. But they usually last six and a half hours. Oh my god! And the agenda I would is quit. And, and the agenda is still left untouched due to the other distractions that end up taking place during the meeting. It's exhausting, and decisions that need to be handed out are put off for another thirty days. I'm extremely frustrated by this, and have considered just not even attending anymore. How do I regroup this team that is supposed to be leading? our company so that we can have the tough conversations, make decisions and move the organization forward without wasting more of everyone's time. Jordan, I would love your thoughts on this. I mean, is it a jury? Why are there 12? That's so many people. How are you going to make it? I mean, and what is it? Is it, does it have to be unanimous on decisions? Does it have to be majority rule, two thirds? I, I, I mean, I, this is why I'm not a huge fan of like huge organizations just because you have to do so much stuff. I just like when you and I get to say, this is what we're doing. 
You know, it's just easier that way. It's the better way. I, I just think you should give people autonomy. Like, if you trust people, what needs to be hashed out? I mean, there should be, everyone should have their own spots of purview. Should they not, right? Like, if you're in your role, you have it. If there's an organization-wide decision that needs to be made, the CEO should be the one making the decision, right? I mean, I, I, I just don't, I mean, you can get input, but there shouldn't be a debate. The rest of our office, I mean, pretend our office was, you know, said executive committee, right? They can give us all the input in the world. You make the decision or I make the decision and we move on. I just don't, I just think there's way too many cooks in the kitchen for that. But scheduling a four hour meeting, oh my gosh. I, why? There's nothing, your meetings, I, I don't, I don't understand the relevancy. Of, of I meetings. wonder if they have snacks because that might make it more palatable. Four hours. Four, no, they go six and a half. What do you do for six and a half hours? I can't pay attention for even the 20 minutes we're talking I know. here. I know. You start just like drifting off and twirling in your chair. And, um, I don't know. That just seems like such a waste of time. That sounds like a failure of leadership at the very, very top. Um, I would have a conversation about it. I, I've never heard of an organization doing that before. Like, unless unless you guys are determining that you you are the most successful insurance organization that exists today. You should look around at other ones and say, no one else is doing this, and they seem to be doing just fine. Well, and if they're KPI-driven, which if they're that big, they should be, it's really simple. We've got our KPIs. Did we hit them or did we miss them? If we hit them, great job, add a boy, add a girl team. If we missed them, please give me the 30-second view why. Right, And if we missed them bad enough, then, okay, let's have a different meeting with the people actually involved in that to handle that. But they, they, they're they saying that the schedule even, isn't even being touched, which means there's really no leadership, right? Someone's got to run the meeting, and if someone starts going off you know, what, what the plan is, you have to call them out and say, that's not what we're talking about today. You can put it on the agenda for next time. You don't put it on the agenda, you don't get to talk. Sorry, goodbye. It's why I have a meeting agenda for my meetings. Jordan would never know because he hasn't attended one. I don't go to meetings. They're kind of pointless jo- most of the time. Jordan takes the Mark Cuban approach who doesn't like meetings either, and he just says, email me. Yes. If you want me to do something, email me. I will respond to emails, or I will delete it if I don't want to do it. One of the two things will happen. <laughs> <laughs> or I will pretend not to know how to do certain things so I don't have to... That's not pretend. I've completely forgot how to issue a cert- certificate a long time ago. <laughs> okay, so to answer your question, I don't know how you regroup this team. If if you're not the leader of the organization, it's got to come from the top. I yeah, I, no, you go to you. You need to approach the leader of the organization, and you need to lay out why this is just a giant waste of everyone's time. How much productivity it's killing. Put it into dollar and cents. Take everyone's ballpark salary. Put it into the time. Do it whatever it's once a month, six hours. Say, hey, each of these meetings is costing the organization twenty thousand dollars. Okay, and we're getting we're getting nothing accomplished. Do you want to add an, another two hundred forty thousand dollars in value annually to the company? Great. Start taking control of your staff and the company and running these meetings like a. I almost said some choice words there, um, CEO. And I have an offer. If you will buy me four boxed wines and a package of an apple head. Or a by box. a package, he means the, <laughs> the box, box that has like 24 apple heads. Yeah. Used to be called Johnny Appleseeds. Uh, I will go out uh, and I will run your meeting for you. We will get it done in 40 minutes. Weren't or less. Johnny Appleseeds different? Those were red, weren't they? No, they were green. Really? They have a they have a whole bunch. They've got the grape ape. They've got the Right, but I thought the Johnny Appleseed ones were red and the, Mm-mm. the Mm-mm. other ones because yours are green. Mine are green. Okay. So I will fly out, run your meeting, show you how it's done. I'll give you a step-by-step outline or just email. I'll send you the You template. will go to a four and a half, six and a half hour meeting? Oh, no. I'll make it 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. What, what you do to make it really uncomfortable is you crank up the heat in the room. You make it about 80 degrees. Is that what you did here? It's hot in here. It is getting warm in here. Or you make it a standing meeting or you make it walking outside. You do something, anything Anything is better than the six hour, six plus hour meeting that you have there. Again, we're we're offering to help. That doesn't usually happen, but in this case, for boxed wine and apple heads, I will jump in. I will show you how to run your meeting, 
or any other person in your area with any common sense can figure out how to get that thing done in an hour or less. There, there, there are consultants out there at the wazoo. I mean, this is, this is just, it's absurd. But if I could get some boxed wine out of it? Yes. <laughs> when you pay the $1,000 for your round-trip ticket out there, you too. Okay. And my plane flight. Boxed wine, a plane flight. hotel room? I plan to fly back same day, because I'm only there 40 minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't have anything else in that one. I think we covered it. If you can spot, again, what is different in this episode. Either audibly or visually. $100 gift card coming your way. Email me at Justin at Total CSR. Do not forget to give us reviews. And if you have drink suggestions, keep them coming because this one was a better one. This one was my idea. This wasn't from oh. the general populace. Well, The okay. White Russian was, though. Well, was then, then whoever gave the White Russian, don't give any more drink <laughs> suggestions. All right. I think that's all. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and talk to you next week. Cheers. Cheers.